Some exciting news. The final installment of the Indiana Jones saga is set to hit theaters Friday. And while Jones may seem like a character from Legends, he has similarities to an explorer from the area. Yeah, 23 News morning anchor Marta Berglund has more on the man who could be behind the movie. For nearly 3,000 years, man has searched for the lost Ark of the Covenant. With those words, excitement ignited for the first Indiana Jones movie, Raiders of the Lost Ark. The highest grossing movie of 1981 made more than $330 million that year and kicked off the blockbuster franchise. Of course, there was all kinds of conversation that he was the person that it was based on. And while the character of Indiana Jones may seem too good, too brave, and maybe, yes, a little too handsome to be true, his story has ties to one man from Beloit. A lot of people think that he's the inspiration for Indiana Jones because of the expeditions that he went on in the Mongolia Desert, in the Gobi Desert. He has a lot of the similarities to Indiana Jones, so like the hat and the whip. Danica Keaton is the program coordinator for the Roy Chapman Andrews Society. Andrews was raised in Beloit, attended Beloit College, then in 1906 went on to a career at the American Museum of Natural History in New York City. He actually started they're cleaning floors. However, he quickly rose in the ranks, becoming the museum's director and a famed explorer. He's best known for his journeys to Mongolia, where he became the first to discover fossilized nests of dinosaur eggs. He was special. It treated me more as an equal than a child. Sarah Appleby is Andrews's granddaughter. He was not afraid of many things, but the only thing he was afraid of were snakes. And that was one thing that Indiana Jones was afraid of was snakes. Though she didn't realize his fame until later on in life, Appleby says her grandfather's spirit of adventure was apparent to her even as a kid. Some of the dinosaur eggs that they had discovered in the Mongolian desert, they were in a glass domed case on his coffee table. And no, there's no evidence Andrews ever searched for the lost Ark of the Covenant. But like Jones, his stories live on today. Working for you in Beloit, Marta Berglund, 23 News. Beloit Classic Cinema will celebrate this local tie alongside Visit Beloit and the Roy Chapman Andrews Society. Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny will screen a day early at the theater tomorrow. How cool is that? There will be an early release party from 3.30 to 6.10 with games and prizes. The movie will screen at 3, 6.10 and 9.20 at the theater. You can go to Visit Beloit's website for more details. Who would have thought? And there is no doubt in my mind that it was based on him. Yeah. I mean, there's too many coincidences now.